I don't know if he's good enough to be an Alabama head coach. And guys, don't beat around what you're trying to say. In the standard of Alabama's head coach, minus Nick Saban, you got Franchoni, well, Mike Stuhl and Franchoni. And you got to say, okay, if we had to judge the guy on those merits right now, he might be a level bit slightly better than Mike Stuhl. And that's what he is. Right? He was out there in the Pacific Northwest, and he won a bunch, and he won some games at Washington. Now, we all know that the cream of the crop of football is Big Ten, SEC. And you got to be a different animal in order to coach in both of those conferences. Big Ten, you got to understand the physicality week to week and get your team prepared to play that way. SEC, you're playing against NFL players weekly. So your attitude and the way that you go about it, you have to have it. It has to be discomfort, uncomfortable. You can't be a comfortable team in the SEC because every single week it's uncomfortable. There aren't weeks that there aren't weeks that you can go into. Well, you know, we're playing against Vandy, and no. Clark Lee, I told you guys, Clark Lee's going to have that bunch prepared to play in their discipline. And when you aren't a disciplined team and you pay attention to the details, you're going to get your butt kicked. I judge people by the way they look and the way that they dress. I came out and I saw that head coach that's at Alabama right now in a shirt, untucked. And I saw the players on the sideline, untucked. Shots on pulled up. Everybody looks different. That's not how you win. And I know that we all were football players. We all wanted to stretch the way that we look. But at some point, you got to understand this is a team game, a disciplined game that you have to follow the rules, regulation, plays, gap sound, eyes in the right spot to make sure that every single play on defense and offense and special team looks the same and you're working that way. It's just they just lack attention to detail and they don't have any accountability, nor mm. do they have truly respect for what the head coach is trying to get them to do, regardless of what we think about it. They're not well, doing so what he's asking. It doesn't help when you in your post-game press conference sound like Mr. Rogers, all nice about every damn thing. You just got your ass whooped by Vandy. What? Marvin, Marvin. He's always been that way. What do you guys expect? But, but I get that. But that's I'm not saying you, that. No, you, no, you're not getting it because you're trying to make it you're trying to make him into something that he's I'm not. I'm not trying to make him into anything. I'm agreeing with you that you are right. I'm then agreeing with you. This is what he, this is what you got now. So you either either roll with it or you find a new team to cheer for. Because this <laughs> is what you're gonna get. They all told me that this was an A plus hire. That this was an A plus coaching staff. And I said, hold on, hold on, wait a minute now. I think we're really premature. Yeah. Are we ordaining people too quickly here? Right. And listen, we knew what it took to be an SEC coach, right? This is not easy. This is not an easy job. West Coast, they do it differently. They're different than the East Coast, right? And Bama is a different animal. I'm, I'm just saying, man, he, I, I met Caleb the boy. I had a conversation with him at the practice. I, I think he's a great dude, and I'm pulling coach. for him. I, I'm pulling for him to do great things. But listen, sometimes you got to be a – Nick Saban knew one thing. I can't coach everybody the same. Now, there's some guys I might have to be a little bit nicer and show a little bit more love to. But there's some time I just, frankly, I got to cuss them out. I got to get in their face. I got to I gotta go deep with them because that's all they know, right? And when players take on the persona of the coach, I don't care who it is, the player going to become what they coach are. If the coach is nice, if the coach is soft, if the coach don't have no grit, no bite, and everything is okay, and the sky's always blue, and in my words, I call them, you always chapsticking, it ain't going to work. I mean, it's just not going to work, and I'm with you. I don't know if he's going to be the guy. And I know people say, oh, you're over. You're acting. It's only one loss. I get that. But you got to look at what's been happening, okay? You don't lose the Van- – Van- listen, if South Carolina loses to Vanderbilt, eh, South Carolina's an average team. Okay, that can happen. You are freaking Alabama. That is a – Slop. I mean, that's like all the food in, in the pot. You throw it to the pigs. Nasty, gross. That's a gross, nasty slop. A uh, loss for Alabama.